everyone, welcome back to my channel. Today I am getting ready to film my launch video. So now the secret is out. Many of you guys know that I collaborated with Christian Audette and created my own lipstick shade and my own lip gloss shade. And here they are right here. I just got these in the mail. I thought it would be fun to take you guys along the journey with me of me getting ready of the anticipation of this and go along the journey of me open these up for the first time. So because I've only had the samples, I did not have this until just now. And I thought it would be fun to turn on the camera and get ready with me getting ready to film my launch video. So the makeup that I chose for the video, kind of discussing the names and how I come up with them and just the journey along the way and all the ins and outs and kind of the behind the scenes of my launch with Christian Audette. Just kind of sharing some tidbits of what's been going on for the last six months. I will link my collection with Christian Audette in the description box down below and also pin a comment so that you guys can just go down to the comment section and click it and it'll take you over to the Christian Adet website. But um, I'm very proud of this. It's been a very, very long journey and I'm so excited that it's finally here. So without further ado, let's just go ahead and jump straight into this get ready with me. I'm so excited. I think I'm gonna need headache medicine because my head kind of hurts. Okay, let's jump into this. I'm so excited. Like, I don't even know where to begin. I need to put some eye drops in my eyes because I've been crying for the last, like, I got, I just got the package in the mail and I just can't stop. How am I going to film this video? Okay. So I just put some Lumify eye drops in my eyes to get rid of the redness. I could not live without Lumify. Um, I just cannot believe it. I cannot believe this. This is crazy. Now that we got the eye drops in, I've curled my lashes. Let's jump into this foundation. I'm going to use the Chantecai. This is the Future Skin Oil-Free Gel Foundation. It's one of my favorites. And I'm going to use the shade Shea. And I'm going to put it all over the face. P.S. I just got Botox yesterday. So you can see there's a spot there couple of spots here so if you're wondering what those are that's what it is the, the rest of the spots they're just you know <laughs> zits and hyperpigmentation and you know all sorts of fun stuff okay so I can't even believe I'm here like I can't believe that it's here I'm just so happy that it's here the shade is so spring summer appropriate it's just so beautiful and it's gonna look so pretty on so many different complexions and I'm so excited to see everybody wear it and the thing about it is I I could have chosen so uh, let's talk about the packaging for a minute so when we started this I was told it's probably gonna take you know upwards of eight months if I wanted my name on the packaging you know they said we'll do whatever you want if you want to wait and you wanna launch this, we're totally fine with whatever. Well, in my mind, when I first was approached for this opportunity, I always had the peachy tone in my mind. I knew I wanted to create a really beautiful, versatile, peachy tone color that had some brightness to it, but not too bright. So it kind of, for me, came down to what was more important, the vision of the actual product and what I was creating and the shade that I wanted versus the packaging. And at the end of the day, the packaging just became not that important to me. I would much rather create something that I'm happy with and my and see my vision come to life than to have my name be on the packaging. I'm, I just, that was just, you know, and, and some people would disagree. Some people would probably wait. And I get that, I do. But for me, it just didn't make sense for me to wait. And I'm really glad that I made that decision because Bare Nectar and Ray are so perfect for this time of year and all the way up through the summer. Like this is the beginning of summer and that's the time when you wanna wear a shade like that. I'm gonna go ahead and put some uh, makeup on the eyelids to get cancel this out. I'm using the NARS Soft Matte Concealer in the shade Ginger. We started this back in January and I sent them so many photos of so many different shades. 
so many different mixtures of shades. I'm actually gonna put the images up here right on the screen so that you guys can see what I sent them and trying to get them on board with the vision, trying to find that perfect shade. And it took us a minute. It did, it took us a minute. And I don't know that the lab really <laughs> appreciated me, but you know, I wanted it perfect. And you know, the one thing I can say, I don't know that to be true. I mean, I would have gotten annoyed with myself, but the one thing I can say is that Krisha Nadette and the owner, Sweetie, they were so patient with me and they they heard everything that I wanted and they, they did everything they could to accommodate and it was amazing. Like they gave me full control over what I wanted to do, how I wanted to do it. I didn't even know if this was even gonna be possible to get it because raw materials are hard to get right now. And because Christian Adet has such a kind of strict um, ingredient list, meaning that they are very strict with whatever they add, whatever um, raw ingredient they add to their formula, it has to meet their criteria. Uh, so for me, I didn't even know if I was going to get there, you know, because you just never know. But we got there. We got there. When I got the final package with the samples, when I opened it, I knew. Without even swatching it, I knew. I just knew by looking at it that this was the shade. And there was like nine other shades in that particular package. And I knew. I knew. Okay, got my brows done. I've got all three of the dogs here with me. My German Shepherd, my Golden Retriever, and my Shih Tzu. So if you hear them breathing throughout this video, that's what you can hear. <laughs> I got the German Shepherd right here, Golden Retriever right here, and the Shih Tzu over there. So they're just like all surrounding me. Just the way I like it, by the way. Let's move on to this palette. I had to wear this palette in this launch video. This is Mel's palette that she created with Sydney Grace. This is, I would never have had this opportunity had it not been for Mel introducing me to Christian Adet. And I will always be grateful to her for that. And I never wanna forget her. I will always continue talking about her. And I have to use her palette today. I just do. And I've got the perfect look that I wanna create with it. So I'm gonna be using that shade, right? I mean, come on, it's like perfect. And then I'm not sure I've used this all the time. Like you can see the dent. This is one of my favorite shades. I think what I'll do is probably incorporate maybe some of these shades with that. Can't decide what shade to use, whether it's Meadowhawk or Marvel. That's Marvel, which is like the best rose gold ever. It's one of my favorites, but that Meadowhawk I have to use it, it's so beautiful. So we're gonna use Meadowhawk, which is, by the way, this shade right here. I love that shade. I'm gonna start with the shimmer shade first, and I'm gonna put this right here on the lid. I mean, look at that shade. If that is not perfect, I don't know what is. And I'll probably put Web, which is the top shade, the very first shade in the palette over top, like just to add that extra to it. I'm gonna grab a little bit of web. I'm gonna bring that like right, oh, I forgot that was so pigmented. Hold on, I'm gonna have to blend that out, I forgot. <laughs> and it just like made it like so pretty. Those two together, oh, such a pretty palette. I miss smell so much, Woo. I'm gonna go into the shade Flutterby. Tap off, cause it's pigmented. And I'm using the Smith 233. And I am gonna bring that right there in the crease. Also going to bring that here on the outer corner. I'm gonna grab a little bit of Death Moth and Bugaboo. Like I'm gonna kind of tip, like dip the brush into both shades and tap off. And this brush is the A504 from BK Beauty. This is from the Angie Hot and Flashy collection. I'm also going to bring that over top of this outer corner. Normally in my German Shepherd 
goes with my husband to work. But now it's getting too hot and he can't take her, so. She's home with me now. I don't think she likes it. She likes to go to work. <laughs> Hi, Jojo. I know. Let's okay. move on to concealer. I've been crying. My dogs are walking out of the room, if you can hear them. And I'm gonna use some color corrector to color correct some of this situation we got going on here. I'm gonna use my brush to just quickly kind of blend that in. I'm gonna be using my Kosas concealer and that one doesn't have like a lot of coverage. I have two colors here. I think I'm gonna use the, I think I might use both because I do want a little bit of brightness. So I have the shade six, what is this? 6.8 warm. And I think I might use 6.8 warm like right here. Okay. And I'm gonna grab the shade 6.0, which is for olive. This one's a little bit lighter and I'll use that one like right here. It's being extra extra today. Right. Let's move on to the lower lash line. I'm gonna grab the shade Flutterby. I'm gonna blend that into my lower lash line. I wonder if my dogs need to go outside because they're sure bugging me. Normally they don't bug me this bad. They might need to go potty. Okay, so I am back. My dogs did need to go potty. They were bugging me for a reason. I'm gonna take a flat tipped brush and I'm just gonna do the exact same thing, dip between these two shades right here. You know, we all know that Sydney Grace has a very pigmented formula, so I'm gonna go kind of slow with this so that it doesn't uh, get a little bit too carried away. And I'm gonna bring that right there on the upper lash line as well just to kind of have some definition i just can't believe this day has come and it's so bizarre like i just can't believe i'm here i can't believe i'm getting ready to talk about this collection and launch it and i hope that you guys love it as much as i do and like i'm so i i'm, I'm so overwhelmed it's almost like i keep trying to put it out of my mind so that i don't like flip out i just never i you know here's the thing you guys i never thought this was ever possible for me um i never thought i would ever be here i never thought that this would ever happen for me little old me really like it's just it's really a very bizarre feeling and I'm just so, I'm so incredibly excited. I'm gonna go off camera, put some mascara on, and I might put on some lashes, just a small little tiny bit of lashes, and then we come back, we'll move on to the face. Okay, I am back, my eyes are done, let's move on to the face. So I don't think I'm gonna go too heavy into contour, I think I'm just gonna go straight into bronzer. I'm gonna grab my bronzer brush, this one from Charlotte Tilbury, and I'm gonna grab the Gucci, oh, shit skis. I came, the little brush down inside came flying out. Ah. I'm gonna grab the bronzer from Gucci, one of my favorites, and just softly kind of warm up this face. I don't want it to be too warm because my foundation is already a little warm, you know? So I'm gonna try to keep it at a realistic <laughs> look here. I don't want it to be overboard, but there. Okay, so let's have a conversation. So I am so excited about this collection for so many reasons, but I wanted the perfect peachy tone. And as I was going through all of the samples, sample after sample after sample after sample, I kept saying, no, that one's not just quite right. That one's not right. When I came across what we have, what we now know as bare nectar, I'm gonna use this uh, Charlotte Tilbury blush. This is in the shade Ecstasy. When I came across the Bare Nectar, I was like, that's it. Knew it right away. Well, then I had to name it. And I didn't even know what I was gonna name it. I knew what I was gonna name the blush because as you guys know, the blush is named after my daughter and my grandfather. So that was very easy for me. And, and Ray is also like Ray of Sunshine. It feels very summery, right? So it was like perfect. But what am I gonna name this lipstick? I have no flipping idea. I am on it. 
I am writing down everything I can come up with, all these crazy different things. And, you know, my husband kept saying, well, what about this? Well, what about that? And he'd say, we got to do something with your name. And I was like, no, I don't want to do anything with my name. And he was like, no, you do. And I'm like, no, 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 baby. Because he's just so excited. He can't even see straight, right? And I was like, no, I'm not doing my name. I'm not doing my name. And so we're, I'm just writing out a bunch of things, like a whole notepad filled with, just uh, just like one name, right? Like one single word. And I'm just like, what am I gonna name it? What am I gonna name it? What am I gonna name it? And then I was like, okay, well, I started Googling. Okay, so what what are the shades, like what, what are shades that describe peach? Because it's a peachy shade. And I couldn't get anything to come up. There was apricot. It's like, well, there's so many different things out there. There was so many different things and then I was like, okay, so maybe there's another description of this. So yes, it's peachy, it is, but it's also kind of a nectar, right? So if you look at a nectar, there is a part of the nectar that has that color in it. And I was like, oh, so I wrote down the word nectar. And I really liked the word nectar. And then I'm going through and I'm going through and I'm looking at all of the list of words that I've written out on this big, long notepad and I come across the word beachy or beach. I think it was beach nectar. And I was like, beach nectar, beach nectar. And I was going to go with it. Beach nectar was going to be it. I was like, you know what? My husband's like, Ooh, I really like that. I like that. So I was like, okay, beach nectar. And I kept thinking about it and it just, it was almost one of those things where I knew if I said it, I would be like, that's it. Right. And I wasn't having that's it. I, I, I liked it right? But I wasn't having that like, oh, I love that. That's it. Once you hear it, you know it. Yeah, I was looking for that. And even though I really liked the beach nectar, I didn't feel that. I didn't feel that like, you know. And so I was like, beach nectar, beach nectar. And I was like, what about? And it clicked. I was like, bear nectar, <gasps> bear nectar. And I said it out loud. And my husband's like, that's it. What was, what did you just say? I said, bear nectar. B-A-R-E, nectar. And he's like, that's it. I'm like, it's, that's it. And we were like jumping up and down in the kitchen. The dogs were getting all excited. I knew right away that was what it was gonna be. Like, it just takes a minute. Like there's so many different things to name it. And you know, because the gloss was so personal, right? Because the gloss was named after my daughter and my grandfather, um, I, I wanted the lipstick to be named after what it reminded me of and what the color is. And I wanted it to be something really, really cool. So bare nectar it is, and I love it. So that was how I came up with the names. That was, that was actually really hard. And then, I got a hair. So I thought that was hard until I got a, a message from Sweetie and she said, hey, I was just wondering, she's so sweet. She was like, hey, I was just wondering, did I not put mascara? I didn't put mascara on my lower lashes. <laughs> I thought that was hard until I got a message from Sweetie saying, hey, so do you have your product card written out that you can email over to me? And I was like, my what? I didn't know what she was talking about. Uh, and she's like, you know the card that gets sent with the, and I was like, Oh, I'm supposed to do that? Oh, 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 I have no idea. So I didn't know what I was gonna do. And so I said, okay, give me a day or two because first of all, I'm not like the best with writing out things. And I was very nervous about it because I was like, um, I'm not smart at this, I'm not good at this, this is not my forte. And so that took me another, she gave me, I think the weekend, but we were also coming up on a deadline because I wanted to get it launched before I left for Florida because I wanted to film my launch video in my studio and I'm leaving the 28th for Florida. And I was, so we were on a deadline to get it done and she was like, no pressure, you know, she's like, we can launch it whenever. I know that you really, really wanna want, I know that you really wanna launch it before you leave for Florida. So, you know, it's completely up to you, no pressure. Like again, they're so easy to work with. They were, you know, pretty much trying to make it 
as easy as possible for me, but, but also knowing that there are deadlines. If I wanted those cards done, I needed to get it done. So it was a lot. There's a lot that goes into this that from the behind the scenes, you just don't think about. And so anyway, I, um, I wrote that out. It took me a couple of days, but I finally got it. And I love the card. I already had the pictures taken because I had been wearing the shade for so long. And, and it's really funny because there were several times that I was wearing that, I was wearing a uh, bare nectar in a video and somebody would ask, what lipstick are you wearing? Because I'm looking for that perfect peachy lip and I love what you're wearing. And I was like, oh, I can't wait to tell you what I'm wearing, but I couldn't tell you, I couldn't list it. So many videos I've worn it over the last, well, since like late March. I'm gonna put on a little bit of my Charlotte Tilbury Halada. This one right here. This one's in the shade Dream Light. I'm just gonna grab a little bit from up at the top and and I've broke out. I'm so stressed. I broke out right here, which I'm really ticked off about. Here's the thing. I have not broke out for almost two weeks. And right as the day comes that I get the package and I'm able to film my launch video, I break out. That's my luck, y'all. And I'm just like, yeah, whatever. I just don't really care. I mean, I care, but I don't. Because I know that you guys are my family and we're all in this kind of crazy boat together in life and shit happens. <laughs> it's realistic, right? It's just like, that's what reality is. I can't sweat the small stuff, so I have a breakout. Who cares? I might cover it up with a little bit of um, KVD. In fact, I'm gonna do that now. Before I put on my bare nectar, I'm so excited, oh my God! And I haven't even opened it yet, so I'm gonna give you, I have only been using the sample. I have the new ones right here. And I am gonna share that experience with you. That's why I wanted to turn on this camera so that we could do this together. I mean, obviously you're seeing it after it launches, but like, this is important to me. And I wanna share as much as I can with you guys. Just a little bit, cause it's a little bit too light. But that covers pimples though, right? Like that just like deleted everything. <laughs> it erased all my problems. Okay, break out where? All right. Let's open, let's open, let's open Bare Nectar and the gloss together. So excited. Okay. So this is Bare Nectar. Oh, it's so beautiful. Oh my gosh. She's so beautiful. I just love her. It's so pretty. <laughs> okay. And then we're going to open up Ray. you guys oh my gosh I have the samples look at that color oh, I love it <laughs> I'm so excited <laughs> and I love the packaging on their glosses I love this sleek black oh I love these are like who I am is that not who I am this just screams Tara it just does okay let's go ahead and put on bare nectar I just love it alone. <laughs> what I love the most is that I don't have to wear a liner with it. That's what I love most about it, is that there's a lot of these lipsticks that sometimes you have to put on a liner with it. This one I don't. I just throw it on and it's so perfect. I love this color. <laughs> I just love this color. Okay, I'm done. Now let's, oh, this is the first time I'm seeing the packaging. And I'm so happy that I made the decision to film this whole thing, turn it on, and just have you guys come along with me because this just means so much to me and this is such a pivotal moment in my YouTube journey. And I wouldn't have any of this without you guys. I could not leave you out of this. I, I was like, my followers are the reason I'm here. Yes, Mel is the one that gave me the introduction, but they never even would have wanted to work with me if I didn't have such amazing followers that have supported me along the way, right? And so I'm just so grateful. This is a little bit of Ray. Oh, I love Ray. Now Ray, look at that. So what I love about Ray, when I put Ray on top, 
it gives it that gorgeous shine. As the gloss and bare nectar start to wear down, you almost get that really natural, like peachy pink look on the lip and I just love them. These are gorgeous together. And if I don't, I mean, they're meant to be together. I, here's the thing, I didn't want, and I'm gonna say this in the launch video, but I didn't want Bare Nectar to be like too over the top. But you can also wear the gloss alone. It gives this nice pink hue to the lip. If this is not me, I don't know what is. Christian Adette brought it together and they took my vision and put it to life and I am so grateful. So grateful. I gotta put my earrings in and I gotta fluff up my hair. Oh shit, skis, hold on guys, I just dropped my earring. Okay, I'm so excited. I'm so nervous, I'm so nervous to film this video. This is probably the most, no. No, there's another video that I filmed that I was more nervous about, but I'm sure you guys already know what that is. I'm gonna wear these, they're so pretty and so, they're not real Chanel PS. There's a girl on Instagram. I love her, by the way. There's a girl on Instagram. There's a girl on Instagram. Her name is Sydney. She takes Chanel buttons or Gucci buttons or Dior or whatever. Like the sky's the limit. She has quite a few different name brands. So these are real buttons, but she turns them into jewelry, which is super fun. They're authentic real buttons, but they're just, they don't cost as much. And I love them. And then I'm gonna film my launch video. My gosh, I cannot believe this is happening. I can't believe this is, I can't believe this is happening, you guys. I don't even know what to say. I don't, I'm like so flustered. I'll probably have to film it like two or three times because this is such a, you know, I wanna make sure I get it right and I know I'm gonna get emotional. Um, and, cause I've been just kind of feeling that way anyway all day and I'm just really nervous. <sighs> but I just gotta remind myself, I'm talking to all of you who I really truly consider friends. Like, do you know how many friends that I have, like that are best friends that I've never even met and we've just been talking back and forth? Um, so. I truly do feel like you guys are my friends. My two best friends are Teresa from Teresa's Dead and Jenna Fraze. Those are my two best friends. And for me, I've never met any, I've never met them. And yes, we talk back and forth. We do talk back and forth on Marco, which has really been able to gain that like deep connection, but they, I've never met them. And you guys, I've never met, but you guys, I feel like are my friends because we talk so much. I just have to remind myself when I turn on this camera to have this conversation and and share with you guys, Bear Nectar and Ray, that you guys are my friends. And this is so exciting and I'm telling my friends and I don't need to be nervous about it. That's what I gotta remind myself. So, I'm gonna cry again. Damn it. <laughs> I need to get the headache medicine out because I'm gonna get a headache from all this crying. Okay, you guys, so that's it for this. Get ready with me while I get ready to film my launch video. I hope you guys enjoyed this video and everything I'm wearing in today's video, I will link in the description box down below. If you guys are interested in my collection from Krishna Debt, I will leave all of the information linked as well in the description box and I will also pin a comment so that you can head over to the comments. But if you guys do decide that this is a color that you love as well and you want to get it and you guys wanna share it on Instagram, please be sure to tag me on any photos that you guys post and I'm just so excited and I'm so grateful and there you go. So. Thank you guys so much for hanging out with me in today's video. I hope you guys all have a wonderful day and I will see you guys all in my next video. Love you, bye.